hey good morning good morning it's been a while since i've shared a video but i felt it necessary this morning to share a thought this morning on my way to work i was listening to this clip and in the clip the woman was saying that love is not enough love is not enough to keep a relationship together and it had me thinking because I do not share that view. I've heard many say that love is not enough because if you check with many people who have had divorces and stuff, you'll hear them say that, oh yeah, I, I still love my, my partner or my ex-partner, but it's just not working out. That is not true. That's not love. That's selfishness. Love is pure, love is true, love is God, and God is love. So, I say this, love is enough. Love is enough. We have the wrong concept of what love truly is. I think we have adapted a corrupted mindset of love from the world's perspective. Instead of looking at what the Bible says or what God says about love, we are taking and adapting on the mindset of the world. Love in the world is selfish. Love in the world is not self-sacrificing, it's not giving. Love in the world give with expectation of receiving. But if we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, will get a full understanding of love now also we need to understand that the love between a man and a woman a man and his wife is not represented in any other form but in agape love and that's where we are having problems a man and a woman is trying to love each other outside of agape love agape which is unconditional love the love that God has for us and the importance of marriage is so great that Paul likens it unto God's relationship with the church. That's how important marriage and, and is and how in, in deep love is when we talk about how God loves the church to the point where he gave his son for the church. And Paul calls man to love his wife in a sacrificial way the same kind of giving of himself to his wife and the woman submits to her husband as how the church is to submit to god when we get back to that place where we understand what god requires of us as spouses as husband and wives then we'll truly start to understand what love really is. A marriage does not fail. A relationship does not fail because love is not enough. A relationship fails when we allow love to dissipate. When we allow ourselves to become so self-centered that we allow selfishness and all our own personal desires to override what God's intention was or is. In the book of Genesis chapter 2, when God created Adam and he put Adam to sleep, he said, I will create him a help meet. Help there means supplier. Help there means a physician like, someone who takes care of, someone who come alongside, someone who supports and supply. That is what God said when he was creating woman. He will make a help me. Me there means opposite. So man on himself or of himself was not totally sufficient. And hence, 
God created woman to make man fully sufficient by having a woman by his side. So that aspect of man that he could not fulfill for himself, the woman would come alongside him and help him to fulfill that. So I say all of this because I want you to understand that if you go into a relationship, you're not looking for somebody who is like you necessarily. You're looking for somebody that you can compliment. If you feel like you're going into a relationship fully sufficient, having everything that you need, then why do you need a man or why do you need a woman? A relationship is based on need. Not want, need. So, I need something. I go into a business relationship, for example, because I know I am unable to do everything that is necessary in the business on my own. I need help. I need support. So I pull along somebody else or two or three people and we come together and create that business. And every time we want that business to grow, we keep adding people because we need help. In a relationship, when you come together with your partner, you're adding to her to your life or you're adding him to your life because you recognize there is a need that you have that is difficult for you to fulfill on your own. I say to you, love is still enough. Trust me, love is still enough.